Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Walther's Proto EMD F7, A, and B set. This is in Santa Fe. You get uh, number 43C and number 43B. Now this MSRP is for $529.98. This is both an A and B unit though. So obviously you get a little more, but we're gonna take a look at what these locomotives have in store starting right now. In the essence of time, we're only going to unbox one of the locomotives, and it's going to be the A unit, but you'll get to see both when we do a little rundown of the details, so don't worry about that. I'm trying to get this bad boy out of here. Ah, <coughs> uh, there we go. Just took a little gravity assist. Alright, so you saw the Walther's Proto Box, they redesigned that a while back. Pretty nice. Got some documentation in here, we'll take a look at that quickly. Limited one year warranty. Fill out the card, send it in, voila. Walther's Proto, exploded parts diagram, tsunami digital sound functions listed here, F0 through 10, and some other data including decoder, decoder features, lighting features, sound features, etc. This also operates on DC. Here's the exploded parts diagram in case anything breaks or you break anything and there's parts missing, you can say I need part whatever. And call it in and get the part. See, it even tells you how to order your replacement parts right there. Break-in procedure talks about, tells you to Break in your locomotive, operated at varying speeds, etc. We always test these straight out of the box. So, speaking of box, here you go. You've got the actual locomotive here, and I'm pushing from behind with these little holes. So, you got some extra parts in here as well. Let's take a look at what those are. Looks like you have a chair, and a crew figure, and another part. So, like you can add a crew figure or it's an additional one we'll find out here in a moment soft plastic it's protecting the locomotive from the hard plastic and there you have the locomotive out of the box finally so looks like crew figures are already installed so it looks like they just give you an extra one but let's take a closer look at some detail on this F unit all right so we'll take a look at this F unit starting from the front and you can see that beautiful Santa Fe red and yellow scheme. Nice silver metallic appearance. Nice paint job on this from Walders. Separately applied grab irons. You got your Walders Proto Max couplers here. Got the pilot. It's like a coupler cut lever down there. Separately applied grabs. I know these are LEDs because Walders is all about that. And you've got number boards, classification lights. Got windshield wipers on the windshield here. Cab figures we already said were installed with nice blue shirts on. Got a super amount of truck detail here. Got the cab entry ladder. You have a high mounted horn right here. Dynamic brake fan, radiator fan grills, exhaust along the top. Got this nice etched metal grill that's nice and flat along the side. Santa Fe's printed along the side. You got your fuel tank detail. Got windows here and here really really beautiful locomotive very aesthetically pleasing to the eye on the back end you got your hoses air hoses here you've got a diaphragm that's spring loaded another proto max coupler nice metal coupler there separately applied grab irons all along the sides here and you got rivet detail Speed sensors on the truck, I believe is what they call those. And beautiful, beautiful locomotive. Let's take a quick look at the B unit and then we'll get into operation. So here's the B unit. Again, beautiful paint job. I love the silver metallic finish 
on this. You've got diaphragms at the end, again, spring-loaded diaphragms, little door window here. You've got the air hoses, protomax couplers, all that truck detail we talked about. Santa Fe logo along the side, nice and clear, legible. Don't even really need magnification for that. Little water indicator there. Fuel tank again, more metallic grills. Radiator fan grill up top, exhaust. Beautiful, beautiful loco. Separately applied grabs adorn this thing as well. Again, rivet detail. Take a look. Even a little bit of underbody detail there. So overall, very, very nice. Well done, locomotive. Along with the A unit. See the bottom there and the top. Beautiful set. So let's get this thing running and we'll listen to the pair. All right, as soon as you put it on the track, it gets to making noise here. So let's go and listen to some sounds. Check out the headlight first, see how that works. Looks like we're good there. Bell. Horn. Short air horn, F3. Dynamic brakes. Five ends up controlling. I always do this, I end up hitting F8 instead of five, but five, if you can catch out of the front here, Controls the Mars light, which fades in and out. Go ahead and turn that off. Six, seven is the dimmer for the headlight. Eight is mute, like we said. Nine is brake squeal. And ten is coupler. So that's all it lists in the functions. There may be other functions built into this, but as you can see, that's what you have. And we'll check the B unit as well, but it should have the same sounds. B unit. Checking out the sounds on it, same thing. So if you run these two together and you're lazy like me and you don't change the DCC address, you can have these running together right out of the box on address three and have this nice stereo sound going on. So just to see what the motor noise is like, I'm going to mute. And we're going to take a look, as you can see there, the number boards are also lit, but uh, we're going to go ahead and move this thing one speed step. Very quiet motor, very smooth out of the box without even being broken in. Two. Three. Four. And five. And we're going to stop it. And this thing is quiet as a church mouse. You can't hear anything. One in reverse, very smooth so far. Two. Three. Four. And five. Operation is really great as well. Okay, as you can tell, I have dimmed the lights down significantly so you can see some of the lighting features. You've got the number boards that are lit right now, classifications lit right above the number boards with the same light there. F6 handles that, but F5 handles the Mars light, which I'll go ahead and show you how it fades in and out. A little hard to see with camera glare in terms of realism, but it looks nice and real. And then zero is headlight. That's very bright as well. Nice bright LED light, but it's not blue or anything. It's a nice golden yellow. I think Walder's nailed that for sure. So headlight with the Mars light, as you can see there. And we'll just pick this up off of the track, get a little angle going on so maybe you can see it without so much glare. But overall, very nice, and it lights the track well. 
um, just like a real locomotive would. So very impressive. I love the lighting of this thing. I think they did a great job. Well guys, that wraps up the review of the Walther's F7A and B set here in Santa Fe. A couple other schemes floating out there available, but overall I'm very impressed with the locomotive's speed, pulling power, um, the fact that it has a nice weight to it, uh, the slow speed control was real nice, and the sound. When you mute the sound and you do the slow speed control, no motor noise coming out of the thing at all. It's just gliding along the tracks. So that's very impressive. Love the lighting. I love the fact that it's both LED yet still golden white like the real locomotives are. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything to pull this uh, behind these um, that I can think of that would really go for sure. Um, I know some California Zephyr cars may go, but I'm not sure. So I'll just leave you with a run by of just the locomotives going by on my layout. But overall, a really nice pair here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care. <laughs>